Hey everyone, it's Nick, aka NickFish03, and I've been working on a couple different projects here, but the main one I'm going to show you is my attempt at making a workbench out of wooden pallets. Okay, so for the pallet workbench, um, I'm working with sort of limited tools, which is also making this relatively cheap. Um, I, as I mentioned, these, these are all free. Um, got them from a construction site, and I got the three of them from a business. Um, what I'm planning on doing is I need to remember which ones I'm going to work with. I think I was going to work with this one here, which uh, doesn't have uh, a brace right here. But what I'm going to do... Hey, Sally. Sally, come here. Come here. Get out of the way. Thank you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these boards. She's she's all interested. I'm pointing at stuff. I'm going to take these boards and I'm going to move them over. I'm probably just going to repurpose the nails and use those. I have a bunch of, I think, inch and three-quarter screws that I use for some stuff. But I'm just going to move those over. Um, and then I'm going to probably add one or two boards from something else onto here to compensate for those gaps being gone. And I think what I'm going to do is, once Sally gets out of my way, uh, these here I think I'm going to use as the legs. I was thinking of using some of that scrap wood, but I don't think I have enough of significant height to uh, really make a good workbench. So I'm probably going to use one, two, three, four right there, and then that pallet. So it should only be two pallets that I'm going to be deconstructing, um, unless I use this small one for something. Um, actually, might move this over um, to make more room for the legs. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, tools I'm using, really simple. Um, pretty much using what I have. I don't have a power sander. I don't have angle grinder, which I don't really need anyways right now. I don't have a reciprocating saw. I don't have a circular saw. Um, all I have is a drill. I just bought this crowbar for $7 or $8 the other day. I've got those two hammers. I've got a coping saw. I have a survivor, um, whatever they call those, saw viver which I may or may not use. I'll probably just use the coping saw with a coarse blade, which I used for a previous project as well. So I had that. So really the only thing I bought specifically for this is uh, that crowbar. So $7 workbench, uh, if you want to call it that. But really you just need something to cut the wood. You need a drill. You need screws, hammer, crowbar, may not be absolutely necessary but most of the the videos that I've seen showed the use of a crowbar and or a reciprocating saw to cut the nails um, I think that's it unless we find out there's something else I'm missing but um, I know a lot of the videos use circular saw and reciprocating saw but I have neither of those so I'm kind of trying to do this with as little cutting as possible I almost bought a wood saw by I think my coping saw will be enough. If not, uh, I'll pull out my saw viber. Uh, I really only need this to last for a year. I'm going to be here for less than a year. At the end of that, I'm either going to try and sell it, give it away for free, or use it as firewood. But I probably, I'm sure somebody will probably pick it up for free if, if it comes to that. Um, but yeah, let's get started here.
All right, here's what we have so far. Um, as expected, with moisture and these not being in greatest of shape to begin with, there's been some splitting. I happen to have some wood glue, so I'll probably squeeze some of that in there. But um, that's what we're looking at so far. Here's all the nails. Unfortunately, slash fortunately, uh, none of the nails are pointed. Um, so that means, well, obviously, they're not going to go in as easy, but since I hammered them out anyways, um, it actually helped a little bit to, to hammer them out. I, let me see how many, I don't have that many wood screws. That's all I got right there. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to reuse the nails. I'll straighten them out. Um, and then I'll just supplement it with screws. Uh, which, I mean, again, this isn't going to be the sturdiest and definitely not the prettiest to work tables. So I really don't care that much. I just did a quick research, um, quick search on workbench height. Their tip was foot uh, ground to wrist crease, which for me is about 35 inches. It's 30, and uh, this right here, well, did you look at that? 35 and a half inches. Now, I would have prefer preferred all the legs to be the same, but. I don't think it'll be that big a deal. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cut those. Well, I won't have to cut those. I just remove those four boards, which really won't be much compared to this. The wood's in good shape. And uh, then I think I'm going to use this piece here as the fourth leg. My screw is one and three quarters, which is just about the width of these boards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna countersink it about a uh, half inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack them to the side here, and then I'll stand it all up and screw down from the top. Um, otherwise, it's just gonna be a huge pain to try and keep this all level and uh, prevent the boards from falling out while I'm screwing down from the top. Otherwise I could do it from the side, but uh, that'd be pretty much just as much of a pain.
Alright everyone, this is the pretty much finished uh, workbench. Originally I was going to call it the ugly workbench. And I think I'm going to call it the Frankenbench. But here it is. Uh, I just finished putting in these cross braces. Uh, and I just used nails because I was running out of screws. And I want to use them for something else probably. I had a little step to it because I was just I just had it up and it started after I added these cross braces and it started to wobble but it looks like we're done um, yeah let's flip it up there it is I think I've spent, um, let me check what time, I don't have the time, um, I think I probably spent about an hour ripping, probably about three to four hours on this, and, uh, with reusing the materials, and having a hammer, having a drill, having screws, um, having a coping saw, and I did use my saw viver, and having the drill bits, uh, I had everything right there except for the crowbar, which is right over there. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and, and block plane some of the top. This is pretty rough. Uh, I don't know how much I'll do. It depends on how well it works, I suppose. I have to fill in a couple gaps. Might try and fill this with, um... Either baking soda and uh, super glue or sawdust and wood glue. And I'm going to make a shim for this, which I think some of the break offs are actually going to fit pretty well. So that shouldn't be as difficult as I thought. But really, that's it. Just touch up the top, uh, fill in the gaps, and that's as, I, as I said earlier. Uh, if I need an extra something, if I want, I don't know, a piece to piece to come off here um, for sharpening or whatever, then I'll just I'll just screw that on. Um, you have to excuse me, I'm a little tired now. Um, but yeah, there's my Franken bench. That's all there is to it. Cost me a total of seven dollars within. 24 hours and I think it'll do what it needs to do